Hello everyone, welcome to Desert Succulent and for today we will be featuring Chiveria Nevada. This kind of succulent is characterized as having these parang pointy na leaves nya and yung color nya is parang dark green to lighter green in color and even if that will be exposing it to the sun or if we will be stressing it yung color ng kanyang leaves will still remain the same so green lang siya like what you are seeing right now pero yung kanyang pinaka tips you would really see na medyo red siya and literally yung tips lang niya ang mag red ayan nakikita niyo ba yung parang red na mark dyan? instead of having yung stress na reddish color dito sa pinaka taas ang nagre-red is yung underneath ng kanyang pinaka leaves which is like this. Itong ating succulent na to would be giving us these kind of flowers. So this one is just about to bloom. And dito nga sa likod, I have a big size of these Echeveria Nevada. They can actually grow from 6 inches to 10 inches pag naalagaan silang mabuti. I would like to give you a comparison of their size. Ito is about 6 inches na siguro yung kanyang diameter while this one is nasa 10 to 11 inches in diameter so ganun siya kalaki na regardless of their size maliit man siya or malaki yung kanilang flower stalks would just be the same ayan so pareho lang sila ng size ng kanilang flower stalk we also have our crested nevada and they would look like this this one is located doon sa ating rain or shine area again. It's best nga if we will be putting them outdoors as compared if nakalagay sila indoors kasi nga we are trying to achieve this very compact na rosette niya. It would look like this pag naka full sun siya all day long while this one, it's just receiving about parang 4 to 5 hours a day of full sunlight and the rest of the day nasa shaded area na siya kasi wala siya sa rooftop natin nakalagay siya doon sa ating basement area and yung sun exposure doon is just very limited watering them is also very basic it's the same as with other succulents na dapat soak and dry method yung ating gagamitin but for this one since na, na outgrow niya na nga yung kanyang pinaka nursery pot medyo mahirap siyang diligan kasi nga kahit na umulan the rain would just go dito sa pinaka rosette niya and it will just flow dito palabas and it won't really go inside sa kanyang pinaka soil pag nagdidilig ako sa kanya I make sure na yung tubig would go directly sa kanyang pinaka soil para naman well hydrated itong ating Echeveria na ito. And right now, we will try to repot it. So for the first time, I will be repotting this. It's been a long time na dapat natin ginawa ito. And I have prepared a soil mix. This one is just a combination of our garden soil and loam soil na nabibili sa ating mga local garden shops. We also have some carbonized rice oil here and some broken clay pots as a substitute nga nung ating pami stones. First, I will try to remove itong mga dead leaves na nasa pinakababa. It's also part of our grooming and maintenance. Ayan. We will try to remove it. So, medyo basa pa yung kanyang soil since naulanan siya a couple of days ago. Yeah, so, ilalagay na natin siya dito sa kanyang pinakapot. And again, we will be adding Osmocoat fertilizer muna dito. Yeah, so, this one is a slow release na fertilizer. Ilalagay natin siya dyan kasi nga hindi ako magpapalit ng kanyang original soil. Okay lang naman if you won't be changing yung kanyang soil as long as healthy yung inyong succulents and you don't have any issue dito sa ating garden soil. And since ito namang aking mga succulents are locally grown or homegrown, then I really don't have any problem. So, kung baga, ilumaki sila sa ating nursery pot and dito sa soil na ito. Kaya not changing it is not a big deal for this succulent. But if you wish to change it, then okay lang din naman. Mas maganda nga. But Sometimes kasi ang nangyayari sa akin, if I will be changing the entire soil, is that medyo nahihirapan na maging stable yung ating succulent. That's why I'm using this 
way of repotting them. So, yung mga empty spaces sa gilid, we will just add more soil dyan. finally done repotting siya parang walang nangyari tiba and I won't be putting it in a bright shaded area anymore so I'll just treat it as a stable na succulent since it's sitting on its original soil so you can get rid of those para mga nakasiksik doon if we will be watering it in the future and since it's newly repotted I wanted na yung ating plant would focus its energy sa kanyang pinaka -ruset and not dito sa kanyang pinaka flower stalk so I will be removing itong ating flower stalk niya ngayon and if for example you don't have any pair of pruning scissors you can just simply do this ayan diba? so it's the most practical, the fastest and the most convenient way na magputol ng ating mga flower stalks so also this, tatanggalin ko na rin siya ayan kasi yung pinaka dulo niyang part is actually dried na. So, kakatapos niya lang mag-bloom and there's no use of these. Sa so, ngayon, hindi ko muna i-repot itong ating mother plant kasi I have plans of making a succulent arrangement in the future and I think itong ating mga big sizes na succulent would be a perfect na gawing arrangement. Propagating itong ating mga Nevada is also very easy. You can have some leaf propagations dito sa ilalim let's try to get some so you can see medyo mahirap lang talaga magtanggal ng leaves kasi nga very compact yung kanilang leaves ayan tiba dikit dikit man ganyan siya nag overlap siya ayan you can really see everything so let's see if we can make a successful na pagtanggal ng leaf sa kanya I will get yung pinaka ilalim kasi that's the easiest. Ayan. So, for example, ganito. Ayan. May kita ninyo, hindi maganda yung pagkakat natin sa kanya. Dapat may parang U-shape siya dyan para masabi natin na maganda yung pagkakakuha natin sa kanya. But, hindi. As you would see here, napunit siya. And yung ibang part ng ating leaf is actually nandoon sa stem na iwan siya ayun nakikita nyo ba yung parang green doon yun yung other part nitong ating leaf and therefore this won't be successful hindi ito tutubo kasi we failed to get yung buong leaf yeah let's just keep on trying ayan so this one is finally perfect. Ganyan dapat yung kanyang shape by pagka parang U siyang ganyan and nakuha natin completely yung ating leaf as compared to this one. On your right is yung successful na leaf propa natin na pagkakatanggal. Then itong left natin, mapapansin nyo naman na may something sa kanya parang may naiwan and this will not survive and this would definitely survive. You can also do some beheading sa kanya or yung ating stem cuttings as a way of propagation. You can just check our previous vlogs about beheading our succulents. And for common pests and problems, you just have to check for some mealybugs. Very prone sila sa mga mealybugs, especially that they can hide doon sa ating mga in-between. And itong mga parang black na to or just some leaf na scar sa kanya before probably when we were like trying to handle it before nagasgasan siya or na scratch natin yung kanyang leaves and as a result nag black siya and it became these parang mga leaf scars hahayaan lang natin siyang ganyan kasi as it grows ito would be part of the bottom leaves and magda dry siya then isa rin siya sa mga tatanggalin natin kasi it will be changed by the new na mga leaves dito sa pinaka reset and that's all for our Nevada Care Guide. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You may also visit our Facebook page at Desert Succulent PH.